Nothing fills me with more uh, hope than when I hear incredible young people uh, like Neha and all the outstanding work that she's doing on behalf of India's youth and for representing this nation's energy and its optimism and its idealism. Um, she makes me very, very proud. And I'm sure, I think that may be her. Uh, is that somebody uh, related to you? Okay, because I, we just had a chance to meet, and uh, she's beaming with pride right now, sitting next to you. Give Neha a big round of applause once again. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to all the students and young people who are here today, uh, to the people of India watching and listening across this vast nation, um, I bring the friendship and the greetings of the American people. On behalf of myself and Michelle, uh, thank you so much for welcoming us back to India. Buhut, Danyavad. It has been a great honor to be the first American president to join you for Republic Day. Uh, with the tricolor waving above us, we celebrated the strength of your Constitution. We paid tribute to India's fallen heroes. In yesterday's parade, we saw the pride and the diversity of this nation, uh, including the daredevils on their royal Enfields, which was very impressive. Um, Secret Service does not let me ride motorcycles, <laughs> especially not on my head. I realize that the sight of an American president as your chief guest on Republic Day would once have seemed unimaginable, but uh, my visit reflects the possibilities of a new moment. As I've said many times, I believe that the relationship between India and the United States can be one of the defining partnerships of the century. When I spoke to your parliament on my last visit, I laid out my vision for how our two nations can build that partnership. And today, I want to speak directly to you, the people of India, about what I believe we can achieve together and how we can do it. And my commitment to a new chapter between our countries flows from the deep friendship between our people. And Michelle and I have felt it ourselves. I recognized India with the first state visit of my pre presidency, uh, where we also danced to some uh, pretty good Bhangra. <laughs> For the first time, we brought uh, Diwali to the White House on our last celebration here. On our last celebration here, we celebrated the Festival of Lights in Mumbai. Uh, we danced with some children. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to schedule any dancing this visit. Senorita, bode bode, de show me. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, <laughs> everybody said, by the way, how much better a dancer Michelle was than me, which hurt my feelings a little bit. On a more personal level, uh, level India represents an intersection of two men who've always inspired me. When Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. was protesting racial segregation in the United States. He said that his guiding light was Mahatma Gandhi. When Dr. King came to India, he said that being here in Gandhi's land reaffirmed his conviction that in the struggle for justice and human dignity, the most potent weapon of all is nonviolent resistance. And those two great souls are why we can gather here today, Indians and Americans, equal and free. And there's another link that binds us. More than 100 years ago, America welcomed a son of India, Swami Vivekananda. And Swami Vivekananda helped bring Hinduism and yoga to our country. And he came to my hometown of Chicago. And there, at a great gathering of religious leaders, he spoke of his faith 
and the divinity in every soul and the purity of love. And he began his speech with a simple greeting, sisters and brothers of America. So today, let me say, sisters and brothers of India. My confidence in what our nations can achieve together is rooted in the values that we share, for we may have our different histories and speak different languages. But when we look at each other, we see a reflection of ourselves. Having thrown off colonialism, we created constitutions that began with the three same words, we the people. As societies that celebrate knowledge and innovation, we transformed ourselves into high-tech hubs of the global economy. Together, we unlock new discoveries, from the particles of creation to outer space. And we are